Hey good people, welcome back to my channel, Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara, and if this is your first time here, Beauty in the Frizz stands for me loving everything that has to do with beauty. The frizz is for my frizzy hair and my love for Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. I am an elementary school teacher who is currently on summer vacation. If you are not new here, thank you so much for coming back, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you are interested in finding out more about Milani Cosmetics and some of their products, Please continue watching this video. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And here we go. About a week ago, Milani had a really good sale and I decided I really wanted to try out the brand. I don't really have anything by them, so I just wanted to kind of see what it was about. I'm really working on trying to balance out buying high-end makeup and more affordable makeup because I've been buying makeup like um, there's there's no budgeting going on here and you know that's not cool so <laughs> I definitely want to kind of balance this out one thing I've noticed is that drugstore quote-unquote makeup brands have really been up in their game and I've been seeing things that I really really like so when Milani had the sale I was like this is a perfect time to try it so this video is gonna be more of like a get ready with me style situation and I'm just gonna be trying out the products and letting you know what I think. So I'm really excited to do this. It's just me and Cam, it's like 2 a.m. You think you got some peace and quiet in the house when the kids are sleeping, then Cam wants to be up like, go to bed Cam. But first I want to start off by showing you all what I got from the sale and then we'll go ahead and try everything on. The sale was buy one, get one half off, I think. So first I got these blushes called Harmony blush, color harmony. I got two shades. The first one is bronze burst. Look how pretty this is. And then I got pink play. It's beautiful. And I also got some illuminating face powder. This shade is called Amber Nectar. I don't know if my light is like washing out this color. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. I also got two lip treatment products. The first one is Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. Looks like that. Hmm, smells good. And I got the Milani Keep It Smooth Lip Treatment. And I definitely I definitely needed this because unfortunately the new Fenty Slip Shine lipstick that she came out with, I had like an allergic reaction and my lips were so rough. It's taken me about a year to come to the conclusion that the Fenty lip gloss and my lips do not get along, which is very sad because it is very nice. Moving on, I got the Green Goddess Lip Balm. It's a transforming lip balm. I believe it has uh, cannabis sativa in it. And I think that what this does, if I remember correctly, is that it, it is this green shade, but when you put it on, it turns like a perfect shade of pink for your lips. So that's exciting. I got the Amour Matte Lip Cream. Well, the shade is Amour. See that? And I got Moisture Lock Raspberry Oil Infused Lip Treatment. So that's what this looks like. Yeah. Ooh, it's like a little gloss. Mm. You know what? Things smell good. Like, it just takes it to another level. I'm really excited about the eyeshadow palette that I purchased. It is called Gilded Ember Hyper Pigmented Eye and Face Palette. So I'm gonna be using that. The back says fiery red tone, soft mattes and saturated metallic shimmers, undeniably gilded, mirror included. So this is what it looks like from the outside. Ooh, there we go. That's the inside. I'll do some swatches of that. It has two highlighters with it too, and nine shades. I already owned the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. 
I take the shade Sand, shade 7, and the last thing I purchased was the Make It Last setting spray. I did not really need a setting spray, but what made me buy this is that it has sunscreen in it. So it has SPF 30, which, you know, sunscreen is very, very important to help protect your skin, to help your skin from aging, and just to protect your skin in general, especially when many of our activities this summer are going to be outside due to our current situation. Make sure that you put sunscreen on, even if you don't, wear makeup you can just spray this on your face so please do that okay so now we're actually gonna go ahead and test this stuff out so i'm gonna bring us in a little closer already primed my face i use the nyx high glass primer which i really love also did my eyebrows already and i use the xx revolution brow pencil and to prep my eyes i use the p louise base in the shade three all right get this together you know i gotta put my headband on for this okay so we're gonna um start with the foundation i usually just put a little bit on the back of my hand and my sponge is already damp all right let's get this party started now this is a two-in-one foundation and concealer so that's gonna be cool because i that takes out a step I really like using the sponge because I just feel like it really puts the foundation on even and you don't use as much as you saw what I put on the back of my hand. It was just a little bit and that kind of makes sure that your foundation is going to last a long time and that your skin is not gonna look cakey because who wants cakey skin? I mean, not me. The one thing I hate is like, from if somebody is far away and then they look good and then when you get up on them, you can see all of their makeup. Like, mm, no. Just putting another small dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm just going to, where's my brush? I'm just going to take this Morphe M554 brush. This brush is great for under eye powder. I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't really do a whole bunch of baking or anything like that I don't, I don't need to do that this is just so this area stays nice and dry Oops. it just gives you a more finished look and so that your concealer doesn't crease you don't want that you just use a little bit like minimal is best Excess leads to stress and mess. Okay, you know I love eyeshadow. All right, so I guess I should swatch the whole thing real, real fast. All right, so let's do that. I'm sorry. Did y'all see those swatches? Because, okay, I, I am excited. I think this was $13.99. Yeah, that's, that's my price range right now because I gotta, I gotta chill out. Okay. So let's do this in, in the mirror. Okay, start with the shade Golden Hour. All right, and this is gonna be my transition. All right, don't forget, always tap your brush off. And we'll see what this looks like. The swatches were really good, but that doesn't mean anything. All right. 
Mm. Mm. Okay, okay, Milani, I see you. So, you know, the transition is just a nice little wash of color that's going to make it easier for your other colors to blend and give you a nice little gradient. This is going to be, I don't even know what kind of look I'm trying to do, but we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out right now. Oh, this kind of goes with my little headband. Look. Okay. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to move on. So now I'm going to get a brush that's going to help me deepen up the crease and deposit more color. This is a duo fiber blend brush. We're gonna deepen up the crease with the shade Lit. And remember when you do your eyeshadow, just work in small amounts. Like don't try to do too much because I told you, you'll be mad because you were acting fast. You'll be in hasty. Look at this. This is really nice. Mmm. Okay. Focusing this right in the crease just to give it a little bit of depth. You can you can see it. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more just because y'all know my hooded eye situation so i have to put it a little higher than the crease just so we can see both shades i've deepened up this crease a little bit with the darker shade lit mm -hmm. okay now i'm going to take a more dense brush here and i am going to use this shade pyro so that's this fiery color here and I'm going to concentrate that right on the outer corner so that's my deep shade so I'm really 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 impressed wow this is about to be a new favorite y'all because look at this and it is not taking much and it's not patchy and everything is blending really nicely Ooh, a little fiery shade, a little incendiary shade. Mm -hmm. That's my new word, incendiary. So I gotta use it so I don't forget it. What do I mean? It's like something that would start a fire. Mm, okay now I feel like I should have got because they had like three of these eye and face palettes and now I feel like I should have got them all but that's being greedy that's being like you don't need to do that but now I wish I did I'm going to take a pencil brush which is this one right here and I'm just going to take the shade Inferno I'm sorry pyro I'm gonna take the shape pyro again and I'm just gonna bring it under here let's see we just gonna tie it up together just a little bit look like this is really pretty I'm also gonna go back with the shade lit just kind of go over that under here y'all think so far because I really like this okay it's sad because I'm about to wash my face after this and get in the bed oh so we're gonna go with our shimmer shade and there are lots to choose from I'm gonna go with the shade rose ember right here I'm gonna see what that looks like when you do your lid shade remember you want to take a brush that's real dense call them packing brushes because you're packing on the color and you're gonna spray it with some setting spray just because you don't want to have like fallout you still might but we want to minimize it as much as possible this shade this kind of reminds me of more of a, a topper shade but we're gonna see run up when you see me then we gonna see all right let's see yeah this is pretty 
this is like, yeah, it reminds me more of a topper shade. Let me, um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the shade Toasted. Let's see what Toasted does. And then what we can do is we can put the Rose Ember on top. You know what, Milani? You are all right with me. I don't feel as guilty when I purchase makeup at this price. I mean, you know, not that I needed any of it. This is really pretty, y'all, look. I just think I need to um, blend this out just a little bit. And remember your fluffy brushes, that's gonna diffuse the color out, make it soft. We wanna do that. Go back to this rose amber and see what happens if I use my finger and just tap, tap, tap in right here. This is very nice. Y'all, $13.99. I should have got buy one, get one half off. I should have got me another one. That's all right. Cause I don't even need any more makeup right now. Okay, I love this. Let me. Okay, this looks really nice. Then what I'm gonna do is take, let's do the shade Gilded. Let's take Gilded. Gild it right here. And that's gonna go for my inner corner pop. And these shades are very rich. Mm-hmm. I do have a little bit of fallout on my face. Um, so, you know, I mean, fallout doesn't really bother me. I can see if it was real extra, but it's not enough where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do this, my face makeup again. I'm just gonna take uh, this brush that I had here and wipe it off. Okay, that wasn't a good idea because, mm -mm. all right, here we go. You know what, this will give me an extra highlight, that's all. To take this pencil by NYX, it's just a jumbo eye pencil, and I'm gonna just use that to do my um, lash line under here. It's really hard for me to do this one-handed, but I'm learning. It's, just, it's not doing that much, but you know, it just gives you, you gotta pull it all together, you know. These pencils are really nice, by the way, because you can use them all over your lid, like as a shadow, or you can use it as a liner. So these are really cool. I think NYX, do people say NYX or NYX? Well, I think they still sell them. That's the point. Some mascara by Too Faced. Top shade that I use, the Rose Amber. It is a bit glittery. So you just have to be careful when you use it, how you put it on. I think using your finger is definitely best. I'm gonna move on to the face. Should have bought a bronzer actually because that's the one thing I'm kind of missing. And I need it. I need a bronzer. For bronzer, I'm gonna take one of my tried and true trusty bronzers, which is by Fenty Beauty. It's the shade Bayesian Girl. Ew. I don't own a whole lot of bronzers because, I mean, I don't need a whole lot. You know, just give you a little contrast because you know a girl is pale. You know, you do your bronzer, you make sure that you kind of get up in your hairline too, just a little bit. And for my makeup journey girls, boys, whoever is watching, um, you know that when you put your foundation and stuff on, that just blanks your face out and makes it a blank canvas. So you gotta add that color back in because, you know, you gotta add that color back in. You're not trying to look all pale. I don't really go for like that chiseled look. I just go for like just a more natural look. So 
Not gonna do a whole lot. So now we're ready for the blush. We kind of have this little pink theme going on. I'm gonna do the pink play. I'm gonna take a little blush brush, swirling around the whole thing just to get all of the color. And when you start with your blush, you wanna just tap, tap, tap in because you don't want it to be too much. Because you can always add more. That's the rule. This is very pretty. Very, very pretty. These lights in here aren't really doing this justice, but this is beautiful. And you just want a little wash, you know? I mean, you want to be able to see it, but again, I'm not trying to make it look too crazy. All right, we've got our blush. And now we're gonna move on to the lips. Taking a lip contour pencil by Huda Beauty. It's in the shade Venus. It's just a nude. Did you know that your lips lose color as you age? Cause I definitely have found that out. I was like, why are my lips the same color as my face? Go. I wanna use the balm first just because I want to see what that looks like. This feels very smooth. Now I'm going to take the matte lip cream in the shade Amore. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, all right, so now we've got the, oh my God, nobody wants to see that light. Okay, so now we've got the whole look pulled together, all right. I'm not gonna put on the setting spray since I'm about to wash my face. All right, so let me do this. Y'all know this is my, my little signature thing right here. I just washed my hair, so it's like, I gotta put some oil in it, but look y'all. Okay, you know what, Milani? How pretty is this? This is like a little rosy toned, soft glam, excellent look. Oh, wait, y'all know, oh my gosh, I forgot about the, um, I forgot about the highlighter. Look at this. Thank you. Let's do that real quick. I'm gonna take this shade Flicker. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Let's see, we get this glow going. You know what, I'm done. I'm just done. It's like, no, okay, look. Come on for this late night glow. Come on for this in the house glow. This quarantine glow, look at. Look at this quarantine glow, that's right. Sorry, I'm about to stop going to Sephora because very wet. As long as I got Pat, I'm, I'm all right. You know what, Milani? You are just doing it here. Okay. I feel like I look like a lion. All right, so. Overall thoughts, I'm sure you guys could tell. I love everything I bought. I love the whole look. Um, I don't wanna take it off and I'm about to. What do y'all think? What do y'all think about this? I wonder if they're having another sale because I just feel like, I don't know. Put on this moisture lock, let's lock it in. You know, matte lipstick can be a little bit drying, but this does not feel bad at all. I really feel like I should have got more. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. This is raspberry oil infused lip treatment. Like if the mat is too dry, then you can just give yourself a little moisture. Mm. Doesn't taste like anything, but it smells really good. 
Okay guys, so that's really it. Um, I hope you guys liked the video and the look. I, I'm sorry. And I'm not saying I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling Milani. Like, look, y'all. Come on now. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. I really like these shades right here. This actually, dare I say, this is giving me a Divine Rose 2 vibe. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm still here, y'all. You know, I always got my, my pats nearby. Dare I say, this is giving me, not the same, but a vibe. And I just love, dare I say, where is it? Okay, y'all, come on now, come on. You see it, you feel it. Dare I say that this is giving me the same type of vibe as Divine Rose. Now, y'all already know, how I feel about but it's giving me divine rose feels here yeah I'm just saying if you can't get this get this okay let me end this because I don't even know what time it is but I need to go to bed <laughs> I really appreciate you guys watching. This is really fun for me. I like being able to talk to y'all, kind of, and, um, you know, joke and have fun, and this is very therapeutic. So I do appreciate you guys watching. I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm coming back on here. I know I said bye. Oh, honey, y'all need to stop, because I just had to say it again, because Saying this in a good way, like, y'all need to stop it. This is amazing, amazing. $13.99, and they have like three of these. This is like a one and done here. One and done, take it with you. All right, now I'm gone.